Hey guys, welcome back. Um, okay, so I've been waiting for parts to, to get this thing going. So while I was waiting for parts, I decided to uh, go ahead and work on the body. So what I did with this thing was to catch you up to speed, I went ahead and I, I painted the, the hood. And then the, the rest of the body, what I did was I took metal sheets and I made cutouts of what I needed, like for the top and for the sides. This was one that I messed up, but obviously this is this would have been this side here. And then just minus this where I cut this out down here. So that's what I did with that. I just took that and cut it up and then I used a Let's see if I got a little piece of this left. I bought a, a whole roll of this um, like carbon fiber tape over at the auto store. And what I did with that and I just was, was just uh, was just wrapped it around, cut, cut a big piece of it and wrapped around the around the sheet metal. So that gave it this carbon fiber texture here. And then after that, I just put the decals on it. And I'm trying to remember where we left off on part two. I think that was basically it. Oh, no way. Okay, so I also, I did receive one of my parts. I, I got the, uh, the pan hard kit for it. So I went ahead and mounted that pan hard kit inside here. So now my steering is going to have a higher clearance. It looks cleaner. So that's one mod that I that I got out of the way. Um, I w also bought a motor that finally came in. This is the uh, the Holmes Hobbies Crawlmaster Pro 16 turn. I, uh, I I heard a lot of good things about this. I normally run like a 35 turn or a 45 turn motor. Um, however, this apparently this 16 turn Crawlmaster Pro is still a good crawling motor. Plus, you get a little bit a little bit of speed out of it too, which which helps out in certain situations, like if you're crawling over rocks and you kind of get to where you need to, that little bit of jump where you can you can hit the hit the trigger and just just give it that little bit of jump that it needs to get over that sticky point whereas sometimes you couldn't really do that with a with a slower motor so anyways that's I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a try and we'll we'll see how that's gonna do Okay, so I also found out something was wrong with my transmission. So I went and bought a rebuild kit. So that's something that I'm gonna have to redo because it seems to be sticking right there. It's like, it's not smooth, it sticks right there. Instead of going smooth, it keeps sticking right there. So I'm, something's wrong inside there. We will have to pull that apart. So I'm gonna rebuild that and after that, I'll get the rest of my electronic stuff on here, and we'll we'll try to hopefully have this thing done by the fourth video of this. Hopefully, um, I'm also going to put that dig unit in it, and I'm still deciding on the the rear steer. If I decide to go with the rear steer, I'll keep the axles. If I decide not to, then I'll have to change those out. So. I definitely want to put in the, the dig though. Anyway, so that's basically where I'm at right now in this in this build. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of closer shots so you can see a little bit of it. The hood, the top, what I did with the sides. If you can see that, 
the back. I got some decals on the back. I left the I left the sheet metal open in the back, so you kind of get a little bit a little bit of a different type of look when it wraps around. Plus, I put stickers on there, little decals. Okay, so that's that should get you up to speed on where I'm at. Trying to get this thing done so that we can we can get it out and give it a test drive. I mean, it, it's looking good, but I want to see how it's going to perform. Um, I do have these 110 millimeter shocks on it too, so kind of high, but it's I want to see how it's going to perform like that. Hopefully, we don't do a lot of flipping over or anything, but we'll see. Hopefully, that dig will probably take care of that. I may even probably go with uh, under and overdrive gears in the, the axles. So, but so that's where I'm going to leave it right now, and then we'll come back. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping video four will be complete. If not, we'll have a video five, but and then a running video after that. Um, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm out.